Sonic Sense is a robot that uh, will sense the environment with acoustic vibrations. Instead of perceiving the environment from cameras, like what we see nowadays with robots, it sees the world by hearing the sound and feeling the vibrations. The main components of Sonic Sense is uh, the body frame of the robot grapper, the contact microphones embedded inside each of the finger, and the integrated AI system that perceives the vibration signals. We actually build everything in-house. So it's an entire open sourced 3D printed components with the robot base. What's really difficult here is to combine the hardware and the software together, where the software is the AI components that can perceive a diverse set of objects with their shape and their materials. So this is exactly how Sonic Sense works. Sonic Sense can interact with objects by tapping around it. Or if it is holding a container, it will shake the container to tell you what's inside the container. We create a dataset with 83 objects. These are objects going from simple geometries to complex geometries. And part of this dataset was used to train the Sonic Sense system. And part of that was eventually used as an evaluation platform so that we can make sure the system we design not only learn well on the data it has seen, but also capture enough knowledge to generalize on novel objects. So if you have a sonic sense system that try to interact with different objects, what you actually end up with are points that you have contact with the object. And these points are points exist in 3D system. And this will tell you where you have contact with objects, but also further tells you where this object may occupy in the 3D space. This AI system can tell you all of the answer just from acoustic vibrations alone. When you first collect signals from uh, the sonic sense, what you have is a time series data that shows you the, the volume or the amplitude of the sound. In signal processing, one very powerful way to look at these signals is to convert the signals from time domain to frequency domain. And when we do this conversion, it goes from a waveform of the data to something we call a spectrogram. The spectrogram has a very unique feature, just like images, and we can just use this state-of-the-art machine learning models to try to understand this data. So how does Sonic Sense perform in a noisy environment? In fact, Sonic Sense only sends physical vibrations through physical contact. And it's very different than air and microphones. Vision-based tactile sensor typically relies on a camera, and the sensing frequency is about 60 hertz. Well, Sonic Sense can sense the environment with 44 kilohertz. So in this case, it's thousands of times uh, richer signals we can get from this. When we developed this project, we put a lot of efforts on thinking, how do we make this as simple as possible? It's called co-design of hardware and software. If we design it good enough, we may not need very complicated software. Same thing if you are smart on software design, you may not need a very complicated hardware design. It makes us to uh, quickly iterate on different versions but also it makes the data much more clean. Sonic Sense can be applied almost anywhere that you need a robot to interact with the environment in medical domain. It might be very hard to see a certain tissue type in human body visually, but you may be able to interact with it with Sonic Sense. In a disaster response environment, your vision sensors can have occlusions or a foggy environment, but having a robot to interact with the environment can tell you not only what this object is, but also helping the robots themselves to navigate in a safe way. Lots of things that we see now are robots performing repetitive tasks in industry. And one of the challenges here is how do robots adapt to different new objects? Enabling a completely new way for robots to sense the environment can really help us to complete this big picture to autonomously perform a lot more advanced manufacturing tasks.